the all clear, sent on their way from the 1400 meter marker. Bush track is the first one to go. Call me the headline is strong, the blue sleeves and cap. Pacific will the red headgears going around them, trying to improve position. Then Edgar Town conquer the enemies towards the inside. Red Soul's got the white cap. Safe return, the orange and white is back, second to last. And Patek is the trailer about seven lengths off the leader. The move towards the 900 meter region and Pacific World is in front. Back in second, call me the headline. Bush track is at the rail. On the outside, Edgar Town then conquer the enemy. Red Soul is further back in the running. Green sleeves and white cap safe return near the rail with the white cap and Patek as the trailer about five or six off the lead as they move towards the entrance of the straight and Pacific World is coming under pressure Bush Tracker moves in with the black cap call me the headlines on the outside Edgar Town with the red cap makes an early move towards the outside of that red sole safe return gets hooked right out with the white cap got about five lengths to make up coming out of the 300 and Edgar Town is the leader Bush Tracker and safe return is starting to warm up with the white cap conquer the enemy red soul Edgar Town safe return conquer the enemy on the inside red soul's a big runner but safe returns coming strongly now safe return red soul they hit the line very close safe return or red soul they went over the line as one conquer the enemies on the inside Close call, number four, Red Soul, the white cap, nearest us, number seven, safe return. And as they get to the line, well, I thought just initially number seven might have won it, but we'll wait for that. Seven, four, one, and that just looks like it. So we'll just wait, though, for the judges and the photo. Number seven was toad favorite at 240 from number four back in second. Third to number one, Conquer the Enemy, then Bush Tracker and Edgar Town. Small field, but a nice close finish. And number seven, if that wins, it's safe return. The William Longsword, a Vaughan Marshall for the Abrys, Habib, the Sagulim, and Ralph's Racing, and Seanville. They came out. They made the four to five lengths to make up on Edgar Town. Conquer the enemy. Red Soul running on strongly. But number seven, safe return for the Clive of Lay Stud. We'll see if a photo comes up. Um, that is the running of the second race. And uh, well, no photo shown yet. The third race starts off the PA. Back to the studio. Well, it was a tight finish between uh, a fancy horse, the top one on uh, a tab gold, safe return, and an outsider who's improved in such a big way, Red Soul. That horse will pencil in, but the judges posted up the numbers, and it's 7, 4, 1, and 3. Well done to Vaughan Marshall, Sean Veal, uh, Clava Flay Stud, the Breeders, and a whole host of owners here, Abri, Habib, Sugalim, Ralph's Racing, and Westwood Bloodstock. And then the gentleman that takes care of the son of William uh, Longsword is uh, Mopenza. Well done to you, my man. A thousand Rand Hollywood bets and gold circle. Congratulations. Your horse looks superbly well. Well done to you. That's uh, Mopenza. Let's get uh, Vaughan Marshall in whilst we wait for uh, Sean Veal. Firstly, Vaughan, and I know you've asked this question many times. Uh, William Longsword, you know, he was a, a tremendous uh, athlete for your stable. What an equine athlete he was. And nice that you're trading his pro progeny now and, and you're doing well with them. Yeah, uh, Dees, you know, uh, they've taken a bit of time, the same as he did. Um, you know, people are, are, were talking and saying that, well, they were a bit worried about him. I've got a plenty of them and I certainly am not worried about it. I don't know if you noticed one that ran yesterday in Cape Town that came from the absolute cloud. So, sure. And, um, you know, this horse, is, is, we gelded him after the race in, in Maritzburg. Um, and you know, he's, he's settled down nicely and, and, and he's going to go on from here. You know, what I liked is the, the, the trip. You know, I was in, in, in two minds when I was previewing the race because I looked up his pedigree and it related to that sprinter, Mr. Cobbs, but he seems to enjoy it. Yeah, very much so. You know, he switches now that he's, he's quietened down after the gelding and he switches off and he's sitting there second last for most of the journey. Um, and when he accelerated, he got there very easily and then he started to loaf. So, you know, it, it, he, he's still learning in his trade and, and, and I think he's going to go on from here. It's a big partnership that owned this horse? Yes, yeah, they, 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 and they bought more this year. So, you know, all William Longswords, so uh, good luck to them. And thanks, guys, for the, for the support. And uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll win a lot more races. One more runner left? 
yeah, geez, uh, uh, look for Hans. Uh, you know, he was in the racing was meant to be at Maritzburg, and I was a little bit worried about the 1750. Uh, you know, his best forms over 1400, and now they've made it 1800. So I'm a, I'm a bit uh, I'm out on a, on, a, on a wing at this stage. But uh, his working, his work at home is exceptionally good, um, and I, and I think I, I still think he's he's good enough to win. He won a really good race last time, Vaughan. Yeah, he did. He won a very good race. Yeah. Well, all the best with him. And, uh, you know, it's a whole host of guys here. Wish them all the best and uh, all the best with the rest of the horses they got with you. Thanks very much, Dees. Thank you. Well done to Vaughan Marshall. Thanks, Let's get Sean Veal in. Confident ride, Sean. What a ride from you because, you know, it was a deep draw, but it was a small field. But you were happy to sit uh, where you were, which was towards the back of the field. Yes, you know, Dees, he's a big baby. This was. He's still very, mentally, he's still very mature. But they're going to have a lot of fun with him when he learns how to race. It's his first run since being gelded and he behaved like a gentleman. About a week ago, he ran away with me at Summerfield off the track. So, you know, he's got his own mind. This was well done to Mr. Marshall and his team. They've done a tremendous job with this horse. And well done to the owner for giving me the opportunity in his colours. Well done to Mr. Suglam for the opportunity. And obviously, LG Panel Beaters, I know Mr. Pillar is watching to him and his family. Stay strong and uh, keep well in those trying times, you know. At the line, it was your stable, uh, Tristan Gordon and yourself to the line. Were you surprised that that horse improved that much to come and give you a race for it? This has always been a nice horse, you know. Everything just happened so quick for that horse. I just thought he needed to That's why I elected to ride Mr. Marshall's horse, which I think quite a bit of, you know. He's, he gives you a tremendous feel when he works at home. In the group one last time when he got beat, he performed so badly when Mr. Marshall was settling him up behind the start in the parade ring. So he basically did his race. And uh, that was the Saturday, the Monday morning, the balls came out and uh, you know, he's a different horse, so he still needed it today. But uh, good run from the second horse. But well done to Mr. Marshall, he's having an awesome season. I'm just so grateful to be a part of his team he got here, you know, we're sharing the rides here and there. And uh, I'm grateful, you know, just well done again to LG, to the owner, uh, Mr. Suglam for the opportunity and obviously, to my wife and my two boys, you know, my wife's been strong this week. It's been a very heavy week for my two young boys. They don't understand these things, what's happening. But, uh, you know, we just got to be strong for our families and we'll come out of this. OK, balance of your rides. Can you help us? This, you know, I made this my best, best, best ride today. After this, I'm trying. That diamond girl must have a little chance. Surely, Ho surely you're the horse to beat there. Holding a form well. It's the first time I think we've got to the top of her. And uh, I think she'll run a big race. And you know, after that, I'm out there trying Karoo Lock as honest as they come. Tonight's fight night as honest as they come. So my main one won. The rest, I'm just trying these. Well, for the guys that anchored you, you certainly put your head down where it matters most. And that was the winning line to get this one past the post. Well done, Yeshuan. Well played. Thanks, Dees. Just well done again to the owner for the opportunity. And obviously, LG panel beaters. And to my wife and her family, thank you very much for all the opportunities, you know. And to Mr. Marshall and his family, thank you very much. Lovely. Sean Veal, 7, 4, 1 and 3. That's the way they cross the line. Up next, race number 3, which will be the start of this afternoon's Place Accumulator.